This is a quick video to help you with exam questions in GCSE physics, converting between different units. So in the exam, um, you're going to get your formula sheet, it's going to have lots of formulas on, and the exam questions are going to have units in there. You need to remember that the standard unit for time is seconds. The standard unit for energy is joules. The standard unit for distance is meters. These are the common ones that they are going to um, can have, like not not standard units of on in the exam. So I'm just going to talk you through how to convert between things. So starting off with time, um, I just want to point out to you that time is the only one where there are going to be some exceptions. If the exam question makes it very clear it wants its answer in kilowatt hours or miles per hour or, or something that isn't seconds and this should make, be made very clear to you, um, then you need to convert things into seconds. So you could have a time period of five minutes. To convert that into seconds, we just do 5 times 60. This is going to be 300 seconds, or it might have to say something like 2 um, hours. So we need to do 2 hours times 60 minutes times 60 seconds, which is going to be 7,200 seconds. So the standard unit for distance is going to be in metres, and here we have it in two slightly different formats. We have it as um, height uh, for gravitational potential energy and extension for um, the spring constant here. So you might get something like uh, 50 centimetres, and all you need to do with that is to divide it by 100 to convert it into metres. So 50 centimetres equals 0 0.5 metres. You also might get given something like 1.5 kilometres. You just need to times that by 1,000 to give your answer in metres. Meters. So this is one they really, really like um, to throw in there, um, just to check that you're paying attention and that you really know your physics. So here we have another one um, for energy. Now the most likely one you're going to see is um, going to be in kilojoules. We just again need to times that by a thousand to get it into joules. So that is going to equal two thousand joules. Now conversely, if you wanted to turn your answer, um, which had a lot of um, joules into it, into kilojoules, you just divide that by a thousand to give our answer like that. So very briefly, um, centi means 100 and kilo means 1,000. So we can have kilowatts, um, kilojoules, uh, kilometres. Um, but to get from our standard units to um, something that is kilo, we need to divide by 1,000. And to go from kilo to our standard units, um, we need to times by 1,000. And the same with centi. So here we need to divide... Um, by 100 and to go from uh, standard into centi here we need to go um, times it by um, 100. Now this may be a bit confusing because um, here we go from non-standard into standard and here we're dividing and here we're timesing but I'm uh, assuming here that centi is smaller, our standard units are in the middle and um, kilo is bigger than our standard units. So we're talking about always going into the middle here. Thanks for watching. I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests down below please.